Good morning. You know, I'm not really sure where I'm going with all this just yet, but I know one thing. Come closer to God and He will come closer to you. I was reading a book that I'm working my way through last week and I, I saw the man that was writing the book talked about, he, he got in a huge fight with his wife. And, and that day he felt like God was saying, come talk to me, come talk to me. And he was like, God, <laughs> you don't wanna talk to me. Did you not see what just happened? Like, you're God. Did you not see what just happened between me and my wife? And, and God, Jesus, the Holy Spirit, three in one God was like, I love you. Talk to me. Come and talk to me. And he's like, I don't, that doesn't make sense to me. That doesn't make sense to me. What do you? And Jesus said, I paid for that so that you could come to me. When I think about all of the times that I feel shame because of a way that I've acted or a thing that I've done, or um, because I skipped a day, I skipped a day of prayer, I skipped a day of reflection with God. And I don't recognize that shame is the enemy's weapon to keep me from going to God. It's not from God. He does not say, shame on you. <laughs> he says, come to me. And when we break through that facade of shame that holds us from coming to him, he tells us, come to me, come near to me, and I will come even nearer to you. So what is it that you're thinking this morning, God doesn't want to hear from me because I royally messed that one up? What is it? Did you have a fight? Did you have a, did you have a um, bad day? <laughs> did you speak in a way that you shouldn't have spoken? Were you silent when you should have spoken? All of those things are arrows from your enemy that wants to keep you from drawing closer to God because your enemy knows how much God loves you. And that when you draw close to him, he draws close to you. Shame is not coming from heaven. Shame is coming from your enemy who wants to keep you from getting closer to God. He's saying, come and talk to me. Come and tell me all your worries, all your troubles, all your sin. Come and give me all your shame and I will take care of it. You don't have to take care of that. But he's saying, draw near to me and I will draw near to you. You're not being presumptuous to think that God would ever want to come close to you. He has told you that he does. So whatever it is that's holding you back, even just a little bit today, it's a facade. It's not real. It's a weapon that's being used to try and keep you from coming closer and closer and closer to God. Because when you come closer and closer and closer to Him, He comes closer and closer and closer to you. So today, put that down. Give it to him. God, I messed up. I know. <laughs> I know you did. But I paid for that. I still want you to come close to me. That's what he says. <laughs> Isn't it beautiful? Let go of shame. Do you know, we've 
gotten so used to shame that we actually think it's what we're supposed to put on before we go out for the day. No. <laughs> Take it off. Give it to him. Give it to him. And then draw near to him. And he will draw near to you. Have an amazing week. Have an amazing day. And this isn't just a sweet talk. Do the thing. Do the thing. Give it to God. Whatever it is. Whatever it is. Give it to him. And then draw near.